Hi, it's Tim with Tim Boyer Photography. I'm down at Ocean Shores today. I've been shooting uh, bald eagles, peregrine falcons, a jeer falcon, and a merlin. And I want to talk about how to get some sharp images, some pretty obvious ways, and then some new things that I've learned recently. So the first thing is to shoot with a high, fast shutter speed. So one one thousandth of a second, one twelve hundred and fiftieth of a second. If you've got a fast shutter speed, you're going to get a sharp image. The second thing is use some kind of a tripod or a bean bag if you're shooting out of your car. Support your camera some way and you're going to get a sharper image. On a clear, bright day like this, you can bump up the ISO to whatever you really want it to because there's not going to be any digital noise. It's not going to show up. Then the next thing is the autofocus selection area. So today, when the birds have been perched, I've been shooting with the center point with the four surround or the center point with the eight surround. And then when I think the bird's going to fly away, when it starts bobbing its head like falcons do when they're about to leave, I change it to the zone mode in the Canon cameras or the group mode for your Nikon shooters. And that allows all the, all the points to be active. And so when the bird flies away, I have a higher chance of getting a sharp image as it's leaving. Allow the camera time to acquire focus. So don't be so nervous or so excited about getting the image that you try to take the image too soon. Let the lens focus, let the camera focus, and then get a couple of really good shots that way. One or two really good sharp images, it's gonna beat a whole bunch of bad ones. Have the right focus mode selected. So I've been using AI servo today, or continuous focus on the birds, and that helps me because these Peregrines and Merlins will take off really suddenly, so to get a sharp image when they're taking off or to get a sharp image shooting video when they're taking off, you know, be in the right focusing mode. And then obviously the next thing is the drive mode, right? So I want to be in high frames continuous because if the bird's flying away, I want to make sure that I have a chance of getting a lot of shots or at least one or two really good shots because the bird's going to take off and it's just going to be a nanosecond. I mean, from the time that they leap into the air and move about five or 10 feet, and that's going to be out of my range from shooting out of the car, they're going to be gone. I generally, when a bird flies away, will do like three or four uh, short burst modes. I'll press the shutter down and get three or four shots. I'll let up on it, let the lens acquire focus again. I'll press the shutter down another time, get three or four shots. And by doing these micro burst modes, I get a sharp image and the lens and camera are allowed to acquire focus again and, and I get a sharp image that way. I've been using tap focusing. I keep moving my finger right on the, the focus button so that the camera is always acquiring and reacquiring. And I think the key there is that it's reacquiring focus multiple times so that if the bird moves forward or backwards or sways to the right or the left, although I'm in AI servo and that's a continuous focusing mode, the reacquiring is helping me get a very sharp image. Hey, if you like what I'm doing on my channel, give me a subscribe or a like. Share this with your friends if you want them to get sharp images as well. If you enjoyed these tips, leave a comment below. I will see you next week. Good shooting, have fun, and I'll see you later. Bye.